Formula One will be back in action next week at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix after what was an unusual early season break and it's going to be a significant race as the first sprint weekend of the season but changes are on the horizon as F1 looks set to tweak the sprint format from backer onwards with the addition of a second qualifying session. These changes are going to be a big deal because it's the first time since F1 introduced the sprint races in 2021 that they have made modifications to the format and these changes are going to see the sprints become a standalone event thus separating them from the main Grand Prix. Since the sprint races became part of a Grand Prix weekend, they really have divided opinion, not just among the fans, but also the drivers, with some feeling that they do add to the spectacle, whilst others feeling that it is more there for entertainment purposes. So let's run through the proposed changes. So F1 introduced the sprint races back in 2021, as part of its new ambition to make each day of a Grand Prix weekend feel like it had a major on-track event, and they did this by initially trying it at three Grand Prix that year, before running another three races the following year and they've expanded it to six events in 2023. And up to now, the sprint format has consisted of FP1 and qualifying being run on a Friday, with the sprint and FP2 being run on a Saturday, while the main Grand Prix stays to, on its usual Sunday slot. And Friday's qualifying session sets the grid for Saturday's sprint, with the results of the sprint race determining the grid order for Sunday's main race. But all of this is set to change, thanks to the proposed changes led by Formula One. Friday's qualifying session will now set the grid order for the full distance Grand Prix on the Sunday. FP2 will be replaced on Saturday morning by a second qualifying session, which will run the same format as the main qualifying on the Friday, only to a much smaller scale. The results from this session will determine the grid order for the Saturday afternoon sprint, which is a third of a Grand Prix distance. It is understood that all of the teams have unanimously agreed to the new rules being put in place by Baku. So all that's left to happen is for the World Motorsport Council to approve the new format which looks set to happen next week. So those are the changes being brought in, and on the whole, I do think that they are positive ones. And I'm speaking as someone who has never really actually enjoyed the sprints since they were introduced in 2021. I don't really feel that they've added much value to a Grand Prix weekend. And in essence, they are effectively there to give us a bit of an idea of how the first part of the main Grand Prix is going to pan out in the first 20 or 30 laps or so. And to me, that's a bit of a downside because you're kind of losing that unpredictability. You don't want to go into a race knowing what's going to happen and the sprint effectively is there to give us an indication as to who's looking strong in terms of race pace, how the tyres are holding up, which in turn gives us a bit of an idea as to how the strategy will play out on Sunday. But on the other hand, it is another race and it is replacing another practice session. So as fans, if we're given the choice, we're always going to be in favour of more racing. But anyway, having the sprint as a standalone event definitely gets a big thumbs up for me. I think now that we have that disparity between the sprint and the main race, it is better because we avoid what I felt was an unnecessary gimmick to have the sprint set the grid order for Sunday's main race. It was kind of F1's attempt to jumble up the grid order and have a bit of unpredictability. You could interpret that as F1 trying to recreate the 2005 Japanese Grand Prix on a more regular basis. That uh, race has obviously gone down in folklore as one of F1's greatest ever races where a mixed up grid saw Kimi Raikkonen come through from 17th on the grid to take a sensational win. And the tweaks should have a positive impact on the racing because there was that general feeling before that because the sprints set the grid order for Sunday's main race, drivers would not take as many risks in the sprint at the risk of being involved in an incident and sustaining damage, which of course in turn would mean that they would start the Sunday's main race from the back of the grid. And I think this is why the teams and drivers are back these changes going ahead, because they know it will add to the spectacle and they will get greater enjoyment out of it knowing that they can race without the risk of losing their grid position for Sunday's race. Not everyone is a fan of the changes though, and of course I'm talking about Max Verstappen, who when asked about the so-called changes F1 was making to the weekend format, he said if F1 continued to make tweaks to the weekend timetable, he wouldn't be around for too much longer. You can understand Max's point of view because he's not just talking as a purist and a racer, he's thinking about his championship. He knows just how good the Red Bull is and he doesn't want to have to navigate any roadblocks that could impact his run to a third consecutive title. He wants to take the easy route. He doesn't want to have to go from weekend to weekend running to a different format. I would argue that had the proposed format been run in Brazil last year, which was the most recent sprint race to take place, it would have been more rewarding for us as fans because it would have meant that Kevin Magnussen and Haas would have started the main race from pole position rather than slipping down the order in the sprint and starting the main race from a lower grid position. If I could just pick up on one thing though, it would be I'm a little bit disappointed that F1 is still running the same three-part qualifying session on the Friday and the Saturday morning before the sprint. I think that this was a real opportunity for F1 to either trial 
a new format or run an existing one such as one lap qualifying in the early 2000s because I think it really would have added a bit much more variety to a sprint weekend. So overall the incoming changes to sprint races are positive even if you were never a fan of the sprints in the first place. But what are your thoughts on the proposed changes? Do you like them or would you have rather have stuck with the existing format? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Make sure you leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.